you guys. Take two. First video stopped. It stopped a couple times and I got it to go again, but it stopped finally for good. Um, it was running too long anyway, so I'll do it over here. Um, start with the massive, massive casing. See that little firing pin in there too. Never seen that before. Look at how big this is. And it's short too. I mean it like went to a pistol. Holy cow. It's about the size of a dime. Anybody knows what what this is, let me know. It's not a rim fire, it's you know, it's the center. Um, we got the uh, buckle and all all the pieces are working so that's pretty cool little piece down there top <clears throat> debuckle get one of these rivet looking things like that got them before but this one actually has just Design on it. Mm, some weird bolts with all this information on it. 1929. Kearney. It says Toronto, St. Louis, to a bunch of patent numbers. And the date down at the bottom, 1929. Weird bolt. Okay. Mm, button. Not too old. There's a pretty cool button. I actually really like this one. I like the design. Oh, I am wore out. Oh. Marble. Just clear. Nothing inside. A few chips. Seems to be just a little smaller than the normal marble. Um, remember that big horse head I got? Now I got a little one, but the nose is broken off. Broken off the neck. Hmm. A little basketball or baseball, one or the other. Uh, very cool key. Just talked about a cool key in a recent video this one's actually cooler nice skeleton key really nice I like it ring up like a penny and it wasn't saying it was that deep I, would, I and not only a penny but it, would ring, it was ringing like a memorial so um, but in this particular spot you want to dig everything because sometimes it can be a skeleton key <laughs> More often than that. Uh, got a lot of I don't know what's this thing. I don't know what that is. Mm, I got this. This looks pretty cool. In the field, I thought it was a horse head on the inside, or just a blob, you know, just a blob, but it's actually a dog's head inside of that. And it's like thick plastic or glass. And the back has a, a latch. Uh, there's leather there. I guess this went on a 
on a big dog's collar. Right? Pretty cool. I've never seen one of these. I've never seen a lot of the stuff I dig. I like that one. Got one of these, and usually they come out in pieces. This one's just massive big. I've never even seen one, a harmonica that big. Yesterday, yesterday I got the world's smallest, and today I got the biggest. So. Nice and solid, thick. This one just seems so different than the others. You get... Um, okay, so... About 14 wheat pennies. Uh, check this out. Excellent military button. And not only that, but the back is even better. It's got writing on it. I don't think I've ever gotten a button with writing still on the back. It says Button Company. But I don't know what company it is. I mean, it says it, but I can't read it. something AM but the back's really weird you hear that it sounds like porcelain did they make the backs out of porcelain that one time it's just like a porcelain plate when you rub your finger on it it's awesome I like it it's probably uh couldn't guess World War One. Yeah. All right. Another button I think is silver. Or this might be a pendant, but the back is just it's a two piece. That's why I think button. The back's just fried, but the uh, the front half look silver I'm not sure what it is nice um so I'm gonna clean that up just so A little better. Mm. A little better. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, you can see all the pennies. I got dimes and I got. I don't know, three, four, three nickels, uh, probably about ten dimes, maybe five or six quarters under the cat. Don't need to make her move for that. And I've been getting a lot of Indian heads at this place. 1907. Take it. I love it when I dig an Indian head. And then save the day. Nineteen forty three. P. Now I'll throw this in vinegar and it'll come out looking brand new. I'll leave it in there. Just leave it in there overnight. I don't have to scrub on it or nothing. And I did rub a little water on the front, so.
I think the last time I went here, I also got a war nickel. And I was talking about how I could... Uh, every time I go here, I get silver at this place. And it used to be three silvers and sometimes five. Um, I always did really well here, but apparently those days are gone. I mean, I'm just getting... This is two trips now where a war nickel has saved me. And th those are low tones, not high. So I'm not finding any high tone silver. Um, I used to get rings and all kinds of stuff here. Just Nobody else is really hunting it. I mean... Uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago I took uh, a couple people with me. And, and we all got five each. So... You know, I guess that's 15 out of there, so. I'm sure there's more there. It's just a matter of walking over it in time. Um, I guess that's it. Sorry this one ran so long. I had a lot of stuff here to show you. And I probably didn't even get it all. I had a huge number nine. It's the place I'm doing. It's a homestead. Um, I believe that's all the good stuff, really, all the important stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.